Hey, what's up, everybody? So I want to talk about an undervalued and I think underused feature in Avid called Custom Bin View. So when you open any bin, you're going to see all these random columns. Um, Avid, when you first start out, will set up in right here. If I go to settings, it'll have like eight or nine of these different bin views. And sometimes you might not even think about it. But you can customize this in a really smart and efficient way. And I'm going to show you how I do that right now. You have all these columns up here. And when you double click on the top of a column, it will sort in either ascending order or opposite order. So in this case, the name it's going by, in this case, the numbers one, two, three, four, five, six. And if I click it again, it'll go in opposite direction, six, five, four, three, two, one. It'll do the same thing in alphabetical order. So here's in the clips of duration. It's going from shortest clip duration to the longest. And if I double click it again, longest to the shortest. And that will be useful when I show you something in a little while. So this is the only way to do this is in text view. If you click these buttons down here, so you can't really do this when you're in this picture mode view at avidbeer.com at the course, I go into it this in much greater detail, but you want to be in text view all the time. Okay. So with that said, let's start making our own custom bin views. So I left this one that Avon leaves here called statistics. It has some basic stuff. So what tracks do you have with the time code starts and ends, uh, marking in, marking out, things like that. I don't really use this too much at all, but how would I change that if I wanted to? So what I'm going to do, let's make a new one. What I would call one I'm going to call format. So you're going to right click anywhere up here. And you're going to click choose columns and what happens here you get this humongous window with hum or so i should say a very small window with a humongous amount of options of columns that you can use you cannot expand this window sadly but what you want to do is click all or none and now I have none. So now I'm going to click which columns do I like to do. So starting from the bottom, these are all video file formats. If you were doing a documentary where, where you were getting footage from all different types of places, you might want to make a, a custom bin view with some columns like this to separate which ones came from which, you know, video files, stuff like that. Same thing with this audio format. And then over here, you have some basic stuff, some stuff very specific to film that people can put in with, with, with takes, right? Some stuff with 3D uh, Marvel movies, which I'll never work on in my life. And some things um, are pretty basic as far as what I would consider what kind of file is this, right? Somebody sends me a clip from YouTube or from God knows where where they shot it on their phone that I'm supposed to mix into a video I'm doing. I have no idea what it is. How am I going to tell? I'm going to make a custom bin view call I'm gonna call it format which four things do I'm gonna use I'm gonna to go to the bottom here where this line is I'm gonna click video file format and I'm gonna go up to image size FPS frames per second I want to know how, how many for you know is it is this 24 frames per second is it 30 frames per second and I'm gonna go format and I'm gonna click click once you have your your selections these four click OK and now I have these right here and I'm going to save this. So when I click on this little triangle down here, I get this little pop up menu and go to the bottom, save as I, I use all caps for this so I can read it really quickly. I'm going to say format and I'm replacing one because I already have it. But yes, I want format. So remember, when you started opening this bin, it was in this thing called statistics. And I'm saying to myself, geez, what, 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 are these, what are these clips from? I don't even know what the format is. I go here, I click format, bang, I can see it very quickly, very easily. What are the frames per second? What wrapper container is this video file? Is it a dot movie? Is it an MP4? And then the format, is this interlace? Is this progressive? And then the image size, 1920 by 1080 HD. Is this UHD? Is this old SD footage, right? Very quickly, very easily. So what other columns do I use and I suggest you use? Well, the main one, first one I'm going to say, choose columns, click all or none. Have one that's none. Hit OK. And look at this, I saved that as, in this case, I would save it as, I would save it as none. I already have that. And I like this because it, look, it's clutter free. There's no clutter in my brain. I, when I have my bins open, why do I need to see extraneous footage over here? It's cluttering my brain. It's causing me to want to drink even more beer than I already drink. And I don't want that. So I'm going to click none 
and I'd like a nice clean bin like that. This is probably the one I use the most. But a few other ones I do use. One would be what drive the footage is on. So in this case, look at this. I have this sorted by name. And in this case, I'm saying to myself, this came from two different drives. In this case, I'm consolidating a pro uh, footage to take home and bring back. I want to sort it by drive. So in this case, I was at the statistics. Oh, my God, what drive is this on? I have no idea. But now because I saved that custom bin column, made it right, choose columns. I just did, what is it? I click none. I click drive, right? And then I'm at one that says drive. And now... If I double click this, this is where it all comes together. Look at that. It's sorted by the two drives. I can see what clips were consolidated to what drive. Very cool, very quickly, right? So I really suggest having that one. The other one I would do is something I call creation, created. I call it created, you can call it creation date, whatever you want. So I choose a column, I click all or none, I click the creation date, I click OK, and I have this column here that was sorted by alphabetical order by the name, but I said to myself, God, I, I just, you know, I just brought in these six clips today. Which clips are they? I click the creation date. It's going to start from the oldest to the, you know, newest. But if I click it again, now right at the top are these six clips that I brought into my Avid today really quickly, really fast. I can tell what's going on. That's why I love custom bin views. And again, if you go to back to settings, I'm going to do it right now. Look, I have a created, I have a drive, I have a format, I have a none. I had an offline probably for something I don't even remember years ago, but I'm deleting it. I don't want it anymore. I don't want this clutter even in my settings. And I'm going to leave the statistics because like I said, sometimes I'm like, oh, wait, wait, what's the duration of that clip? I just go to, I don't go to statistics. I don't have to deal with this choose columns, all that stuff. So custom bin views, they do save me a lot of time. I hope you take like the five or ten minutes to set yourself up with what custom bin views you use the most. It will save you a lot of time in the long run. More time for you to drink beer. That's what it's all about. You want to learn Avid faster, go to avidbeer.com. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.